Hello! In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how using Omron's new NXR series Ethercat IO-Link Master, I can quickly and easily configure IO-Link devices without the use of separate software. To accomplish this, I will use a custom module that automates the CAN over Ethercat protocol and allows me to read and write specific IO-Link indexes. So, first I need to identify the IO-Link index that I would like to read, and I can do that in the index list. So, I currently have the NXR conne connected to Quintet over Ethercat, and then I have an E2EW proximity sensor connected to the first port of the NXR. And so, referencing the index list of the E2EW proximity sensor, I can look at what indexes I would like to interact with. For the purpose of this video, I will be interacting with index 16, the vendor name. I will be reading it, and I will be writing the application-specific tag, index 24. The application-specific tag is just a custom string. It, it allows us to put in an optional note or something like that. So I'm going to choose a custom string to write, and then we are going to read that back out to see our configuration process. So going back over to TwinCat, in my TwinCat project, I am connected to the NXR. I can go over to my NXR in my Ethercat device tree. I can click on it and I can see various diagnostics as I am online with the device and I can also see that the run LED light on my NXR is lit, meaning that the NXR is currently running and I can have active communication with it. So back in my main program, I am going to briefly go over the the module so the first input will start the process that will allow us to either read or write a to the nxr to the e2ew um, this net id is a twincat id that comes from the routes that can be found in twincat this will be the ethercat address of the nxr this is my first device on, device on the nxr or sorry on the ethercat network I am connected to the, the first port, and then these next several parameters will be the ones that I'll be changing in order to interact with. So this one will determine whether or not I am reading or writing. This is the, my IO-Link index. Here is my sub-index, and then if I'm writing, I'll need to set what write length that I'll be doing. And then timeout and sequence number will stay consistent. Um, and so this module will let me know if it's currently active, currently communicating with the NXR over COE. It'll then let you let me know when it's done uh, in any sort of error state, as well as I will see the control state of what step it's in during the process. Um, so first I'm going to read index 16, which was the, the vendor name. So we go over here. Change this to read, and we'll change this to 16. Now we'll come over to execute, to execute this read. All right, we saw that we were busy, and now we're done. Um, and so the data, whether it's reading or writing, uh, will be in this ABY data, which is an array of bytes. Um, or we don't know ahead of time what kind of variable that we'll be either reading or writing. For the point of this, it'll always be a string, uh, but it could be an integer, it could be something else. And so you'll have to rearrange that data from raw data bytes into whatever variable type. So for this one, we have a string. And I have created a support module that will take my array of bytes and turn it into a string. So that's what we're going to do. And we can see that our string came back with the Amran Corporation, which is the vendor name of our E2EW. So for the next example, I'm going to be writing to the uh, application-specific tag. 
which again is just a custom string, and so I'm going to set it myself. And so again, in order to write this data, I need it into raw data or bytes. And so I have another support module that I can use that will turn uh, my string, my custom string, into a raw data. And so I'm going to choose Omron does IO link. And that's 15 characters long. Okay, and so now we're going to convert that into our raw data. And that's being fed into this ABY message buffer. So this, this string has now been converted into an array of bytes and then fed into the block. So now we're going to write and we want index 24. And just to verify, we'll take a look at what the length is and we can see that our length is 32 bytes. And so that matches with our module. Okay, you can see it busy. Now it's done. All right, so now we're going to read that index to make sure that it wrote it properly. So we'll just change this to read. Okay, now we're done reading. And we will now turn this raw data back into a string that we can read. And we can see Omron does IO link. Using these steps, you yourself can easily and quickly configure this module and any sort of IO link device using the NXR over Ethercat. Uh, a guide has pr been created to walk through this more step by step and show you how to do this, but this video is just showing how quick and easy it is to parameterize these devices.